In this video, I will talk about the material point orphan spelling as O R F N. And uh, you must be wondering that the why this is there. And today I will tell you usage of uh, that material point because usually we create the fluid or solid. Solid means that the, there is no fluid or there is no flow of the fluid. And the fluid where we have the, some flow of the any fluid. And you can put any name for, for, for that sex. So you can put the name as air, oil or ABC. Any name is there. But there are two names which are reserved for the ICM CFD. Solid for the solid bodies. And the orphan is for the orphan. So now let me uh, clarify this thing. The any mesh which is inside the orphan will not be exported for the solver. So it means that if you want to blank any 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 part and keep in mind that the ICM CFD does not have the any option for solids. And solids means that the volume mesh as we do in the other softwares, but in the in the ICM CFD. Instead of the volumes or solid bodies, we have material points. So if we put, put the material point where the we have the enclosed surfaces around that material point, the volume mesh will be created there. This is the how the ICM CFD works. So there are no solid bodies, only surfaces, only curves, and only points are there. So to create the volume mesh or the volume, we must instruct the ICM CFD by creating the enclosed surfaces and putting the one material point there and you can put the material point from geometry and the fourth option is the create body that is same as a material point okay so once we do it so the the question remains same what is the function of the orphan so for example here as you know that the, this is the enclosed body the on the bottom side we have the surface as well on uh, this uh, wind turbine blade so technically speaking the mesh should not go inside the this geometry because the enclosed volume where we have the material point fluid inner this should be in this uh, area where we have these all boundaries and the in in middle we have the wind turbine geometry so it should not be it should not create the mesh inside the this blade and the one more hint on the way is that if you want to work on the geometry so so that you should not make the quality of the geometry too high so let's say here right now i put the value as Point triple zero point double zero one, and now I can move the geometry easy, but the definitely quality will be will be low, and if you put more zeros in in the triangulation, so the quality will be high, but the rendering will be difficult. So while you work here, you should put the the less zeros, and once you are done with the everything, then for the final mesh, put the higher values for the triangulation tolerance means that the more accuracy. For the surfaces and then create the mesh and the one more hint is that uh, like we we can create the these effects in the some CAD software like the space claim or in this in the design molder same thing you can do is that if you right click on surfaces and uh, click on transparent so you can get the transparent view as we do in these space claim or the design molder you can get the same effect here so you can see from inside as well and uh, if you uh, want to show full so that you can have the four more detail but more details mean that the it will require the more sources so i will usually display the show simple and it will this is only for the for displaying so it will not affect the any surface quality or uh, for that matter the mesh quality at the end but this is only for the for the visual purpose so this is all done and now let's say that uh, so first first means let me save this project with a new name so let's say i put the name as the practice so no name for the mesh so i created the like seven meshes for the some project and i as i wanted to compare the meshing and the effect of hub on the result or if there's no hub and the prism layers and the size and the mesh size on the uh, inside blade outside these uh, boundaries so uh, I wanted to see the effect of these all things so but in this example I will only give you the idea about the only one thing that is the the, uh, the effect of the orphan block or the orphan material point so first let me uh, delete the this uh, material point that you can do like here so this is the command for the deletion of the material point or the bodies 
okay then uh, if you take a look here so i i want to show you everything inside over here so right now you can see that the the curvature is enabled and uh, element and gap is is uh, one basically it means that the if there is some gap between two surfaces it will try to create the number of elements but it will not extract the elements to the one uh, it means that if there the minimum element it can create is a one that is the definitely in the volume but if you put some value here so it will force the measure to create the that number of elements so for example if the mesh size is such a way it can create the 12 elements or 30 elements for that factor but if the size between the two surfaces is low and the maximum size we have defined is uh, large enough so it may go for the uh, only one element but if you force it here even with the all the defined uh, the sizes but if you force it it will make the more elements in the gap like in the between wind turbine and the this uh, periodic one and then between this wind turbine and periodic two and uh, also between the inlet and the this uh, geometry of the wind turbine are from tip to the interface two so uh, if there are the let's say if you put the number of elements 10 so it may create the maybe 12 element by default of the from the volume meshing but if there's less number of uh, nodes are going to fit with the size it will try to make the these number of nodes as a minimum okay and refinement is that the means that the 40 means that the we want to create the 40 elements in a circle with the size of the point 001 so if the uh, on this curvature on this curve if you make the one circle so in the one circle there are going to be the 40 elements so if the this curve is the one eight part of the that circle this imaginary circle so it means that this will contain the only five elements so if you divide this 40 by eight and we get the five elements so this leading edge will contain the five elements so if you want to improve the mesh on the leading edge you can go with the 60 or 80 so 60 or 80 they are going to be the elements in the full circle which may be imaginary circle because here we don't have the full circles on the these uh, boundaries so anyhow so uh, i will tell you that, that this effect on the mesh this uh, size function is you know about that thing that the its effect is to create the final mesh but here my video will explain the uh, its effect but i don't know the, about the cause but the this uh, size function and uh, it will not work with uh, without orphan and with orphan it can fulfill its requirement as it should be so first i will go with uh, this uh, meshing and right now i will just create the octree mesh so make sure that the input geometry is uh, all and click on the compute so because mesh was already there so it will ask you to replace the old mesh and uh, now it is uh, calculating the mesh size and uh, so as you know about the octree measure that it will first create the one big element and uh, then it will subtract elements to fit the size of the surfaces where we, we, we define the surface sizes and then again it will uh, run the smoother and uh, everything and then it will satisfy the maximum size in the volume and finally we get the octree mesh and octree mesh has uh, the transition ratio of the two so if the one is first element of the size two second element will be the four and eight and if the first element has a size of 0.1 second element will be equal to the 0.1 into the which is a factor of two so first element will be the 2.2 .2 power zero so 0 0.1 into 1 is equal to 0 0.1 second will be the 0 0.1 into 2 power 1 so 0 0.2 second will be 0 0.1 to into 2 power 2 which is the 0.4 so 2 power 2 2 power 3 2 power 4 2 power 5 6 7 and in this way it will go for the sizing so it means that the size of the each element each element layer maybe they will continue for multiple layers maybe two or three layers so these all elements will have the size of the uh, one size then the second side would be the power of two so the mesh transition is not very smooth for the cfd as uh, we want to limit the mesh expansion not should not be more than the 1.2 or maximum at 1.3 so for cfd we rec the recommended value is that the ex mesh expansion should not be more than 1.2 but in the octree is the around 2 so we delete the volume mesh which is from octree we smooth the surface mesh 
and then we come back here and again from the method we choose the Denali method or you can go for the advanced for advancing front method or for the fluid matching method and uh, as you can see that the mesh has been created but the mesh is also inside the the blade and uh, why I'm saying so is that if you take a closer look you can see that this uh, cutting plane if you right click on the mesh and uh, manage cut plane so you should be seeing the mesh also on the this uh, blade geometry if the mesh is not inside the this uh, whole domain so if I display the volumes and uh, there will be too many volumes because of the as I told you about the how the octree mesh works and if I hide the surfaces you can see there is uh, no there's uh, no hole or there's no hollow section in the meshing for the blade geometry this is the why I was telling you about the this orphan uh, command or orphan material point so what I will do here that I want to show you the effect of orphan and then the this uh, sizing function so usually speaking we should be using sizing function for the mesh refinement especially on the critical areas where we have the more curvature in the geometry and the more curvature in the geometry it means that, that there should be not directly there should be proportion, uh, proportionality but definitely whenever we have the curvature in the geometry there should be the uh, more gradient for the flow so we should resolve the geometry properly now if I disable the uh, size functions from ICM CFD and if I create the same mesh again which is a robust octree and uh, with the all is selected and just wait for the mesh to be completed and uh, this time the octree mesh uh, without the size function is also going through the the geometry inner side which is the solid body but the in the my previous experiences uh, without size function I was able to create the mesh only on surfaces means that the mesh was not penetrating inside the blade which is the case we usually sh we should be getting so uh, okay so this this thing doesn't work here for this uh, time but you should keep in mind this thing also so again I will define size function and uh, this time uh, what I will do is that I will define the the material point or font and this should be inside this uh, wind turbine blade anywhere so the one trick is that you can uh, let's say put the name here is o a o r f n so you can put the small letters it will con uh, automatically convert them into the capital letters so i can get the two points in this way two points in this way or second thing is that you can do is that you can uh, for example here you can uh, use the second option by topology and selected surface so if you select these two surfaces three, these two bottom surfaces this will create the material point in the middle location of these two surfaces and i think this is uh, the best way to get the material point inside this uh, geometry it can be anywhere but it should be inside the wind turbine and now again we proceed with uh, with the uh, octree mesh again this time again the same settings and click on compute replace the old mesh and just wait for the mesh to be completed and uh, now as you can see that after creating the mesh and with the orphan material point or the body you can see that the mesh is now you can see on the surface of the geometry so uh, now on the surface of uh, wind turbine blade we can see this uh, surface mesh and if we display the volume mesh this will be only inside the domain but not inside the wind turbine blade which is obvious from here as well you can see the hollow from inside the this region so it means that the if you want to create the region where you don't want to have any mesh so for that usually speaking this this does not uh, is it's not, it's not required for the uh, for normal cases but sometimes we can have the very when the mesh size is very very small in that case the mesh may leak from the inside domain and it can penetrate into the inside the geometry where solid body should be or where there should be no mesh so in that case uh, you have now the hint that the, you should create the orphan block and this will this will solve the problem